about five or six acres of Christmas trees. We do choose and cut, and it's just people come and either tag or pick out the day they're here and we cut it down for them. I'm uh, Matt Richardson. We are at the Christmas farm right now. We own this uh, with my wife, Cara. Uh, we grow Christmas trees here. We have a retail gift shop. And uh, this farm has been in her family for almost 60 years now. We've been doing Christmas trees for probably about 30 years. And uh, once her grandparents passed away a few years ago, we were able to buy the farm and keep it running. So we have um, about five or six acres of Christmas trees. We do choose and cut, and it's just people come and either tag or pick out the day they're here and we cut it down for them. We have a lot of taller trees you can see in the background, and we our price is $30 any tree, any size, so we got a lot of business for, for this taller trees which people like to come for. So we are uh, located just next to, uh, you're looking over at Shartner Farms, the stamp farms in the distance there. I don't really want to say much. So this is the gift shop that we do during uh, Christmas time. Car's mom, Judy, she makes all these ornaments, she cuts them up by hand, paints them all by hand. Uh, we do boxwood arrangements, we do wreaths, things like that. Hot chocolate, hot cider. Uh, but she, these are all wooden ornaments, she cuts them out, paints them all by hand. So this is another field. Um, Car's grandparents, you know, they had this farm for 50 or 60 years, and towards the end it got tough for them to do a lot of management. So we're kind of fighting back. We're clearing out around the edge of the fields, gaining back some land that's been that was lost over time. So we're doing a lot of work, bringing it back to how it was. Our price is $30 any tree, any size. So we got a lot of business for for this taller tree.